Hi, I'm Christina, and this is Peter Marnie, who's a very keen advocate for the community. You do you need to say some of the stuff that you've done? Yeah, uh, I, I guess I jumped on board about 2010 with the fight to save the Utley Bowling Club, which is going to be a, a major um, development in a in public parkland, and uh, hopefully that's off the ball now. Um, uh, but the, the next fight, the big fight we had around here was the uh, uh, attempts to remove foreshore protections from this um, this beautiful leafy area. So that's this street. So we're standing in Burke Street, Oatley West. Yeah. And if you swing around, it's such a beautiful leafy area. Now this was under threat. Yeah. Yeah. Th there are plenty of streets like that, um, Christina, around here. This is just one 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 of many. Okay. So what happened? Ha what year? What okay. Happened? In in 2020, council put forward a, a plan to remove. Um, the protections from uh, 2,380 homes in this area, all the way from Oatley West um, over to Riverwood along the Georgia River, and uh, 400 uh, people lodged submissions against it, and we thought we won the battle, but um, unbeknown to us, council then commissioned a uh, study by consultants. The job for this um, foreshore area went to uh, consultants from outside our area, and they found that the foreshore zone uh, didn't deserve the protections which uh, we fought for last year. Well, uh, four people, um, uh, lawyers, um, architects etc, also a community rep. Uh, and they actually backed up what the community wanted. That They backed up the fact that we wanted to keep this beautiful area retained and free from development. Um, but council then commissioned a firm of external consultants who have since found that the um, foreshore area doesn't deserve all the protections that it currently has.